بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم رخسانہ یاسمین فرام فضائی انٹر کالج ملیر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ ایٹ کلاس ٹوڈنٹس اینڈ وی ہیو آور فرسٹ ٹاپک اباؤٹ آپریشنز آن سیٹس بٹ بفور ڈسکسنگ دا آپریشنز آن سیٹس وی مسٹ نو ڈفرینٹ ریلیشن شپ بٹوین سیٹس سو دیٹ وی کین ایزیلی پرفارم دیز آپریشنز آن تھری سیٹس ناؤ اینڈ وی کین آلسو ڈرا دا وین ڈائگرام so sets have different relationships between them sets could be equal sets could be equivalent subsets there are different relationships we will discuss these relationships in this presentation the first one is sets could be equal sets let a and b be two sets a and b are equal if and only if they have exactly the same elements For example, if A is equal to 1, 3, 4 and B is equal to 3, 4, 1, then A is equal to B. Here, here I would like to add that we learned in previous classes that order of the elements in the sets does not matter. So if it is 1, 3, 4 or 3, 4, 1, both are equal. And if A and B are not equal, then we write this symbol of not equality. For example, if A is 1, 3, 4 and B is 3, 4, 1 and 5. Now 5 is an extra element B. So A is not equal to B. With these symbols, we have sets on the left and right. With these symbols mean that if our two sets are equal, our sets are unequal, when we have to represent their relationships, we write the elements, we write the sets on the left and the right of the symbols. The next relationship is about equal and, equal, sorry, equivalent sets. We have discussed equal sets in previous slides. Now, equivalent sets, the two sets are equivalent if they have same number of elements. Now, students often get confused with equal and equivalent. We learn in the previous slides that equal sets will be equal if they are having same elements. But when we talk about equivalent sets, then equivalent sets should have same number of elements. Like if F is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10, and g is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, we can see that number of elements in set F are equal to number of elements in set G. That is sets F and G are equivalent sets. We can discuss in the next example. If A is equal to 1, 2, 3, and B is equal to A, B, C, number of elements in set A are equal to number of elements in B. <coughs> That is set A and set B are equivalent. Now, when each member of a set matches one and only one member of the other set, then there is one to one correspondence between two sets. So when our sets are equivalent, there must exist one to one ex uh, uh, correspondence. Match ka matlab hua, dekhi jese set A mein one hai, one is exactly matching with A, Two has corresponding element B and three has corresponding element C. So when there is one to one correspondence exists in between two sets, then we will say that sets are equivalent. <coughs> sets that cannot be paired in a one to one correspondence are called non equivalent sets. Now the next relationship is. subsets if each element of set a is also an element of another set b then set a is called a subset of set b yani agar set a ka har element set b ke andar bhi maujood hai to hum kahenge ki a b ka subset hai and for subset we use this symbol for example If A is equal to PQR and B is equal to PQRS, we can see that all elements of set A are present in set B. But at the same time, you can see that all elements of set B are not present in A. B has extra element that is S. So 
only A is the subset of B. Now we learn in previous classes that what, then what will be the relationship of B here? Then B will become the superset of set A. Then the next is disjoint sets. Sets A and B are said to be disjoint if they have no elements in common. अगर दोनों sets के दरमियान कोई element भी common नहीं है, तो हम उसे disjoint sets कहते हैं. We were discussing about the disjoint sets, and formally we will say that for all that A belongs to, for all A, if A belongs to A, then for disjoint sets A will not belongs to B, and if B belongs to B, then B will not belong to A. In this way, the two sets will be disjoint. For example, if A is one, two, three, and B is five, six, seven, we can see that there is no element common between two sets. Then we are having overlapping sets. Sets A and B are said to be overlapping sets if they have few elements in common. For example, if A is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and set B is three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen, we can see that only few elements are common: three, six, and nine. So the sets are overlapping sets. For overlapping sets, we must be careful. Students get confused with subsets and overlapping sets. For a subset, a set के complete element दूसरे के अंदर होते हैं. लेकिन ओवरलैपिंग के लिए ओनली फ्यू एलिमेंट्स आर कॉमन बिटवीन सेट्स एक सेट पूरे का पूरा दूसरे के अंदर नहीं जा सकता अदरवाइज अगर ऐसा होगा तो इट विल बिकम सबसेट्स फॉर ओवरलैपिंग सेट्स ओनली फ्यू एलिमेंट्स विल बी कॉमन बिटवीन सेट्स देन आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग दिस रिलेशनशिप्स नाउ हाउ वी विल ड्रॉ द वेन डायग्राम्स हाउ वी विल शो दीज रिलेशनशिप्स इन वेन डायग्राम first of all universal set and the venn diagram the universal set is a general set that contains all elements under discussion john venn created venn diagrams to show the visual relationship among the sets universal set is represented by rectangle and the subsets within the universal sets are depicted by circles or sometimes ovals or other shapes but most frequently we use the circles now this rectangle this rectangle rectangle shows the universal set and the sets under discussion they will be definitely the subsets of universal set and they will be drawn inside this rectangle right here we have shown only a this shows that a is the subset of universal set all elements of a are present in universal set okay <clears throat> now how will represent disjoints in venn diagram we learn that the sets that have no common elements we will represent our venn diagram like this for venn diagram we must show the rectangle universal set and or these are the subsets of universal set and they have their relationship that they are mutually disjoint they have no element common between them then proper subsets that if all elements of set a are elements of set b and b has some extra elements right now we can say that a is a subset of b if a is a subset of b then a is inside the b and at the same time a and b are also the subsets of universal set now this venn diagram shows that all elements of a are present in b and all elements of b are present in universal set so if one set is a subset of another set we will represent our venn diagram like this then equal sets if two sets are equal then how we will represent them in a venn diagram if both the sets are equal then we will make just single circle and we will write it like this a is equal to overlapping sets as we discussed that sets with some common elements if set a and set b have at least one element in common then the circles representing the sets must overlap like this when the circles will overlap like this the this portion shows the common elements between the two sets whatever elements are common between set a and b we will write them in this overlap part <coughs> 
ओके जी एट द सेम टाइम इफ वेन डायग्राम्स आर गिवन वी कैन डिटर्मिन वी कैन डिटर्मिन द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट सेट्स बाय सींग द वेन डायग्राम now venn diagram is there and the venn diagram represent a and b are overlapping sets now these two elements f and g represent that f and g are not present either in a or in b they are in universal set if we are uh, discussing the sets and universal sets if few elements of universal set are not present in any of the set then they will be written in that rectangular part okay now use the venn diagram to determine universal set now how will you determine universal set universal set contains or elements of all the sets under consideration so this shows if we start from here a universal set will become a b c d e f and g yes okay <clears throat> now we have to determine set b okay move toward the figure set b now set b is also overlapping the set a it means this portion shows the common element between d a and b so d and then e so we can determine set b as d and e number c is the set of elements in a but not in b now set elements of set a which are not in b you can see only this portion a b and c because this is the common portion this shows that d is also present in a and also present in b e is there so elements of a which are not in b are a b and c <clears throat> now the set of elements in universal set that are not in b यूनिवर्सल सेट के वो एलिमेंट लिखे जो बी में नहीं है नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट दे आर ओनली जस्ट एफ एंड जी नो क्वेश्चन इज दैट सेट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन यूनिवर्सल सेट दैट आर नॉट इन बी तो यू कैन सी ए बी सी ए बी सी आर आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन बी सो द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ यूनिवर्सल सेट दैट आर नॉट इन बी इंक्लूड्स a b c f and g okay the next one is the set of elements in both a and b aise elements likhe hain jo a mein bhi hain aur b mein bhi hain so then that will be the overlapped part so it is on d because this d shows the common portion of set a and set b okay now we have so far we have discussed the venn diagrams of two sets but in our eighth class we have to deal with the three sets we have to perform operations on three sets so similarly we can also identify the relationship between three sets now we can see that all the three sets are disjoint so if the three sets are disjoint we will show the venn diagram like this that all the three sets are mutually disjoint in may koi bhi element common nahi hai i will show you different slides of different relationships if you are dealing with three sets now here in this figure in this venn diagram you can see now it's very important that a and c this is a and c a and c are overlapping here but you can see that b is not overlapping a this shows that a and c are overlapping but but b has the relationship with a is disjoint a or b ka relationship kya hai ki a and b are disjoint now check the relationship for b and c you can see b and c again b and c has this overlap part this shows that b and c are overlapping so if you see the relationships then we will say that a and c are overlapping b and c are overlapping but what about the relationship of a and b a and b are not overlapping they are not touching each other it means that a and b are disjoint 
so when you will be solving the questions you must be very careful you have to identify the relationship between the set set if you are dealing with three sets that which set has what which relationship with other set similarly you can see now this one diagram shows that all the three sets are mutually overlapping you can see this is set a this is set b this is set c now this portion is this two portion this portion yellow portion is common between a and c and this portion this jahan six likha hua hai this is common portion between b and c but look at this three now this is the common portion dekhiye ye c wala circle hai ye b ka circle hai ye a ka circle hai this shows that this three is a common element between all the three sets a b and c and what about this four if you see that four is in this part and only a and b are overlapping here so if i ask you that what is the which one is the common element between all three sets then it is only three same is the example over here you can identify that all the three sets are mutually overlapping and the common element which mean the three sets is 30 so that was very important to discuss the relationships and the venn diagram before starting our topic of operations on sets because now when we have to perform the operations along with the operations we have to represent our sets with venn diagram and we will have to present represent these operations we have to show these operations in our venn diagram <clears throat> i hope that uh, you have understood well and you will be able to do your exercises now for practice question you have to do these questions you have to identify the relationship between sets and you have to draw the venn diagram and you have to submit your this homework tomorrow on your google classroom and your classroom google classroom code has been sent to your respective classes thank you class